What's up everyone? So in this video we're going to deploy ICE as a TechAx server to authenticate and authorize external administrators uh, when we try to log in on Cisco ASA. And the reason we're going to deploy ICE as a TACAX server and not radio server is that with radios uh, ASA only supports authentication, doesn't support authorization. And Cisco even mentions this in one of their documents. And we can see here that for radius, uh, authorization of administrators is not supported. Only with ACAX. We can authenticate, but we can't authorize. And accounting is supported uh, using radius. And we want to use authorization because we want to allow uh, certain privilege for administrators, as we're going to see in a moment. So let's begin configuring eyes, and we'll start by adding uh, ASA as a network device. So should go to administration, uh, network devices. And we're going to add ASA, so we will name it as ASAV because this is virtual ASA. And here I'm going to type the IP. I believe that's 15. Let me double check. Yes, it's 15. And the uh, ACAX authentication settings we're going to enable, so we don't need to enable radius this time and let me type the shared secret pcie c5745 okay so it looks like everything's okay we're going to submit now we're going to create two users and we want to authenticate and authorize those users based on their profile so we're going to create uh, one user one administrator has full admin and another one has an operator uh, with uh, restricted access on Cisco ASA. Now we're going to create two user groups where we're going to place these two new admin accounts. So let's go on administration, identity management, groups. And here we're going to create user identity groups. We're going to add a new one. Let's just name it a uh, firewall admin. We're going to submit this. And we're going to add another one. It's going to be firewall operators. Now let's add the two users. We go on identities and we're going to add the first user and going to name it Celesio, type the password and Celesio will be part of admin groups so firewall admins and submit this and we're going to add another account that's going to be Carvalho let me type the password And Carvalho will be part of operators group. Okay, awesome. Now we have two users and two groups. And we're going to use this as a condition to authorize what these administrators will be able to do. So now we're going to create the command available that will be assigned to each user. So let's click on the menu and at work centers on policy elements uh, results takax command sets and we're going to add two new uh, takax command sets so the first one is going to be admin cmd set and we want to permit any command but this will be equivalent to privilege 15 uh, with full uh, admin powers we're going to submit this and we're going to create another one 
and let's name it uh, operator DMD set and we're going to explicitly uh, say which commands this user will be uh, allowed to type so the first one we want to permit the user to type exit and we're going to add another one it should be able to type show and probably uh, we're going to add one more just to run ping commands okay so these are the only commands that are uh will be available uh for this user once the user uh it's authenticated we're going to submit this and now we're going to create uh, a takak profile and that's going to be the shell that will be assigned once the user is authorized so we're going to name it um privilege 15 takak's profile and we want to set the default privilege to 15 okay and we're going to submit this okay so now let's create the policies that will authenticate and authorize the administrators and we go on device admin policy sets we're going to use the default one so the authentication is going to rely on ice uh, local database and what we want to add is uh, authorization policy and let's name it authorization for admins and the conditions will be the user must be part of admin groups so let's type uh, identity group name and it should be an admin so it should be part of firewall admins and if it's part of firewall admins this is the common set that's going to be assigned and the profile will be privilege 15 and we want to duplicate this one and let's uh, change the name for operators and here the group should be uh, instead of firewall admin it's going to be operators I'm going to use it now the common set will be different will be operator and the shell profile will be the same so although they will be on the same shell level but the commands will be restricted and we're going to see this in a moment so now let's save this Now we have to enable uh, device administration service and we'll go on menu or uh, administration system deployment and on ice object we have to enable the service uh, device admin okay we're going to press ok and save this change okay now everything is in place on the i side so now let's move on to asa and begin the configuration let's bring the terminal okay so what we want first is to add a local account and let's type the password six five seven four five privilege 15 okay and now let's add uh ice as the red takak server in this case so it's going to be ice and the protocol is going to be takax and this is reachable via the management interface and the host is 43.21 and this is going to be the shared key we typed on eyes so it has to match and it's done now 
we want to enable we're going to test this using telnet and we want to allow telnet uh, on management zone or interface and we want to enable uh, authentication for telnet using eyes and oh there's a typo here authentication yes telnet or console should use eyes and in case eyes becomes unavailable could uh, fall back to the local database and we want to authorize authorization uh, for exec authentication or auto enable and we want to start authorizing using eyes or the local database so right now we shouldn't be allowed to make any more changes okay so because the current user is not being um authorized uh to make changes so let's look at the logs we go on operations takax live logs and we can see that uh the the command was denied because the user it's invalid so let's try to log in um we have to log in on ice to test this service so let me try to do that 192.168.43.21 oh my bad it's 15. okay so let's try with Celesio okay Celesio was successfully authenticated and we should see the logs here on eyes in the moment and should be able to make changes uh, so run okay looks okay and let's look at the logs and we can see that it is matching uh the policy we just created but the authorization for admin rule and let me scroll this a little bit and we can see that the commands allowed are related to the admin profile okay so now let's log out and try to log in as carvalho okay we have the same privilege okay can we make changes no we can't can we type show run yes we can and we should be able to type ping as well that's 43 15 okay that's great and we can exit as well yes that's it and let's look at the logs for carvalho So we can see here Carvalho was uh, authenticated okay uh, using the authorization for operators rule and the common set should be uh, operator CMD set and you can see that when we try to move into configuration mode uh, the authorization was denied so we can even look at the details for this one the command failed to match a permit rule and basically that's how we set up eyes as a takax server for cisco asa so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you on the next one